I love my body, but it's taken a really long time to get to this stage. Um, I think growing into a woman at that, at that stage where everything's growing and developing, it's really hard, but I, yeah, I can only say I love it now. I would pretty much write a book to myself about what I would tell myself when I was 16 years old. I, I spent so much time in my teenage years focusing on what I didn't like about myself and focusing on how I could improve myself to be like somebody else. I tried so many diets, tried so many different lifestyle changes and none of them worked, just made me more unhappy because I was just detaching from my inner self that I was becoming someone I didn't know. So I would tell my 16 year old self that your, my, your sense of self-worth is not relevant nor proportional to your shape or your size or of anyone else's. And I think that would have made my childhood much easier to take. I feel great about my body. Um, you know, I today I feel great about my body. Um, some days, you know, it can, I'm like everyone else, I guess. You know, I wake up and I think, oh my God. What the hell were you ever thinking, you know, for one second thinking you were even pretty? You know what I mean? I think that you kind of look at yourself and you just, you go, ah, oh, how did anyone ever kiss this face? And then, you know, you just get over it, get on with it and another good day comes. I still definitely have the days where I don't like certain parts of myself and I wish that I had this and wish that I had that. and. You know, I think that's just a part of being a girl. Everyone has that. It's either if it's not about, you know, your weight or how this or your arm, um, you know, it's about something else. So, I mean, I have definitely come full circle and especially being in this industry it is kind of it's hard at times to sort of, you know, accept everything. But then it's also awesome because there's so many different ranges of girls and but there is still, you know, those pressures with plus size as well. And yeah, like I've definitely, I think, grown to love things about myself so much more that maybe when I was 16, I was a bit, they were the things I hated, where now I'm just like, whatever, like it is what it is. I'm doing all this crazy, amazing stuff because of the way I am. So just get over it, you know, just deal with it. Like everyone has things that they don't like or love about them and you can't let it like rule your life. It's just, it is what it is. I'm not sure what made me overcome it. I suppose modelling definitely helped me overcome not being happy with my body. But I don't know. I sort of, I guess it's something I learnt growing up as a teenager. You sort of don't want to let it get to you because it holds you back in other aspects in life. So you sort of have to learn to overcome it and be happy with your body. It took a long time though and I can understand why so many women struggle with it. My favourite thing about my body? <sighs> Probably my boobs. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really lucky. Thank you, Mama. But um, yeah, I think that's my favourite thing about my body. My skin. I like my skin. Like it's just you know, brown and like always kind of tanned and yeah. The favorite part of my body would be my tummy, I guess, and my boobs, I love my boobs. <laughs> loud. <laughs> I think I have such a loud personality. I always get told that I'm super chatty and very out there. When I have a daughter, I'm gonna tell her about her body that she should decide what is beautiful and not take on the front cover of a magazine. She walks by in a news, ag news agency and reads, lose 10 kilos in three weeks and you'll feel better. That has nothing to do with beauty. So I want her to trust herself and her body that she has, that she is already beautiful she needs not to make any changes to, 
to fit into this vicious cycle that society has with women, encouraging women to be better, fitter women that they don't need to be at all. Um, I'd probably tell her to just chill out. Like, life is long. You don't have to rush and do everything. Um, so listen to herself, listen to her body, and just be who she is and not try and be a chameleon for other people. I think that's a huge thing for me. What's one word that you hope your friends and loved ones would choose to describe you as? Uh, I would hope that they would use the word kind and, and compassionate, if, that's, if I can have two. Um, I think that, yeah, I just hope, you know, life is hard as it is and I just, I don't want people to, I don't want to be a, a source of anyone else's pain or burden or, yeah. So I would hope that they would think that I was a kind, nice person and I was, yeah, I think that's, 